Hello there. If you want to add some custom headers into your store, into your Shopify store, you are actually in the right place. So let's begin. Let's jump right into it. So uh, first of all, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can do this using an application and not by using codes because using codes is a little bit more difficult. It's a little bit more complex. But if you don't know anything about how to create a website with codes, um, I would edit a website, an actual website. Like the best easy way to deal with this is to use an application. So just to get like an idea, if I go into my online store and go into my store, I'm going to go into customize and here into the three dots, I want to choose the edit code. And here into my edit code, I do have access as an administrator. So this is a great place to start editing my files. So if I go into my layout, I actually can go and look for liquid um, theme. So here I am not going to be showing you how you can do this because this might be a little uh, difficult for a lot of people, even for me. So what we want to focus here is on only application. So you don't want to mess around here. This is just like an idea of how you can do this by yourself and not by using an application. And yes, it's totally for free. But the other option, sometimes there's a few free trial and sometimes it's a premium trial. And sometimes uh, there are something that needs to be correctly paid or it comes already with your Shopify um, subscription. So I'm going to get into applications, add application. And in here, I'm going to scroll down until I find the Shopify app store. Now that I find that option, what I want to look for is for the search apps that appears in here. And here I want to look for gem pages. So I'm going to hit gem pages and it's going to appear in, in here. So this application, I'm going to click in here. This application um, has a 30 day free trial mode. Sometimes it do has a $29 per month, but actually I'm going to leave you a link down below uh, after you have your Shopify store so you can have a huge discount of this great application. But if you want to check it out, more options, uh, how to make conversion, how to make some custom uh, banners, a custom heading of your store totally for free, well, you can just stick into the app store and see which one fits for you the best. But in here, we want to install the gem pages. So after you install the application, you want to go into create a new section. So as you can see, this is just a preview of how it's going to be looking uh, our store if we use hempages.net. So in here, for example, I have the Black Friday sale up to 75% off. This is great because I do have a button that's going to be linked already into the sale up to 75 off everything by now or never. This is a scheduled time. I can add this countdown into my store and here have free shipping worldwide, secure and safe payment, the Black Friday deal that is too good to miss out. There's a lot of ways that I can take advantage of this um, great, great get pages. So I'm going to just, if you're convinced that this is totally great for you, for your store, what you want to do after you checked out the tested stuff, the tested website, I want to go in to try it now. So here, once I have the app already installed, I can go into my Shopify once again, which is actually in here. I'm going to head into my applications and open my gem pages. So now I am inside the dashboard of gem pages. So as you can see, I want to build and here I can choose to build a complete store, a blog post, a collection store, some home pages. In my case, I do want to use a landing page and hit into next. These are just a few ways that we can create our header, our first part of our website. So if I want to, let's say, do something like for uh, electronics or accessories, you're going to hit into create my landing page. So once I successfully done that, uh, it's going to be sending me into the editor of the YAM page. So your store is password protect. So what I need to do is to enter the store password so they can uh, read the theme global style that was given, blah, blah, blah. So this uh, passcode is in the Shopify store preferences. 
so that means that if you have the trial mode of your store your store is going to be with password protection so this is the password that we need to provide so i'm going to hit into copy i'm going to go back in here i'm going to paste the passcode and apply passcode so that everything has been successfully done now i'm able to start using whatever template i wanted to and what i'm going to be doing here is to look for a template that i liked the most the best that can fit for my for my for my products right so for example i kind of like this one uh it looks it looks good but if let's say you want to look for something related into um into my products for example i am selling watches right so here i have some pd product this is just for landing pages remember that so i'm gonna just go all my way up and look for this preview option and if you are okay with what you are seeing here you can go into add to your to your landing page so so that what i want to do is to add the product is to add this page so i can customize this template so there now the template has been added successfully now i can start to edit all of my own stuff so for example i'm just going to be clicking into the background uh image that appears in here if i go into the design i can go into the background i have a color and i have color and image i can choose an image and i can select the option that i want to do but in my case i just don't want to focus uh in here uh so badly so i'm just going to be showing you how you can add your own landing page your own heather your first part of your website just by using this application now if you do want to customize a little bit more your stuff if you don't want to work with templates if you don't want to pay for absolutely anything you want to edit your own heather uh using you can use a different option like for example canva you can use photoshop or you can even take some pictures and pull that into your store and customize that inside shopify inside the edit section of shopify so you don't have to pay for more stuff if you want to customize this color scheme what i want to do is to exit first go into settings and here into settings what i want to do is to look for my brand section here into my brand this is the customized section that i can edit so i can add here my default logo i can um La use the same color but let's say that this one is, is going to be looking as square this is only for social media i can add different colors my cover image my slogan my short description and my social links so i do want to focus into the primary color so if my store let's say i want to look for something like a little bit gold and color like this and a contrasting color I want to choose for something grayer and if I want to add some secondary color I can add that and once again I'm going to be choosing these different colors this is the secondary color and once I'm successfully done with that I can go into save and this would be already uploaded into my brand into my website so whether you choose one theme or another one your brand is going to be added automatically into your store so if i hit once again into customize here i can go into heather and here i have accent number one i have accent number two i have background one and background number two so as you can see those are the colors that we just choose but once again if you don't want to take your time if you don't want to spend a lot of time here and you do have a few of budget to customize your store use the hand pages and use the template that fits for you the best so you can create your store right away without having to deal with uh, whatever we just done before so there you have it guys uh, hopefully this was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about the shopify once again you have the link down below in the description of your free 30-day subscription so thank you once again for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one